All right. Um, this is 9.09. And this time, we expect all peoples of primary school, secondary school, and other institutions should be in their school. Well, my name is Yunusa Gabriel Enemali, and my community report today is coming all the way from LGEA Ukolojogene, is in the Kina local government, Anyba Ward. Now, I'm going to unveil something that will touch your heart wherever you are. And the reason why we're doing this, we need to bring you up to speed to understand what is happening. Now, come with me. Now, this is primary one. As I speak with you, it is combined with primary one and two because the, their little hut where they stay has primary two has been falling down by a breeze. Look at it there. Now, come back. Now, you can see these are the leaders of tomorrow. Well, according to them, move closer. Let them see their faces. These are supposed to be the leaders of tomorrow. In this community, there is nothing like infrastructure here. No social amenities at all. Now, it is so pathetic. Look at their board. This is their board. Now, I move with him. He comes with me. Come with me. Come with me. Now, this is supposed to be class two. But today, it's already down. Now, show me the camera. This is supposed to be class two. This class two is now combined with class one. And that is why you have a mixed class. Now, I, I, I am told that they have class one to six. Now, this one to six you will be extremely shocked with what you're going to hear. They only have two teachers, and they are being paid by Subel. Now, tell me, how can this teacher cope? He has family. He has children. Now, the salary being paid him is on the so-called percentage uh, uh, salary. Now, here is primary three. This primary three is also combined with primary four. Am I correct? Okay, this is just uh, primary three alone. It's you can see that. Now tell me, what leader of tomorrow are you going to make out of these people? As far as they're concerned, nothing like computer that they would have ever seen in their life. Now come with me. I'm going to show you. Now, as you come this way, this is the class. And this is class four and five. All right, this is class four and class five. Now you can see the shanty where they stay and they teach them. This is in the Kina local government, in Kogi State, in Nigeria. Now, I'm coming back to tell you what even um, the, de the Sustainable Development Goal says about education. Now, we need to begin to think very, very well, or else we're going to be in trouble. Now, come with me again. This is Class 6. Now, I have this as Class 6. Now, tell me some of them don't even come to school. Why would they come to school? They are not encouraged. The teachers are not encouraged. The parents are not encouraged. Now, getting to this place, I had to use this Okada. It is not motorable. It is extremely so difficult. Now, ladies and gentlemen, now, this is it. This is LGEA Ukolojo Gene in the Kina local government, like I've said before. And this primary school has class 1 to 6. And the number of people right now are about 60. Majority of them don't even come to school because they need to follow their parents to the farm. And nobody encourages them. Nothing about technology that they have ever seen. No light, no infrastructure, nothing. Now, they only have two teachers. The teachers are being paid by a state university basic education board. They call it Subed in Lokoja, and their salary is in percentage. This is absolutely absurd. It is uncalled for. Now, the reason why we need to do this as part of our community report, we need you to come to the aid of this community. NGO, spirited human beings, wherever you are, if you are touched, ask yourself, would you allow your children to come to this kind of a school? The answer is no. Now, let's go back to what um, the first six um, SDG points. That is the 17. The first six out of 17. Now, the first one says poverty. Tell me, what are you expecting from these people? Is it not poverty? Now, number two says hunger. This is hunger staring at them. Number three, good health and well-being. In this community, there is nothing like health center here. Now, if they are sick, they need to travel on Okada from here to Anibak, which is about 20 kilometers by over, over 20 kilometers on it. And the road is extremely bad. Now, tell me, there is no water here. They go, there's a stream down here. That is where they drink from. Now, number four point of it says um, 
quality education. Tell me what is quality about this education here in this modern age and time. Man, there is a lot of things gone wrong with us. Whatever it is, we need to wake up or else our future and their future will be doomed. Number five says gender equality. Look at most of them here are male. Well, the female ones here are here. They're trying to also cope amongst their, their uh, male counterpart. Now, the sixth one says clean water and sanitation. This is extremely worrisome. And I want to expect every one of us to wake up now or else we will be doomed. The future of these children lies on us. Wherever you are, an NGO, your spirited field. The last time I, I brought you a story from Akwelu, today I am in uh, uh, Okolojogeni in the Kina local government. It's just about 25 kilometers, I mean, minutes ride on Okada from Maniwa. Well, it's pathetic and I need somebody to do it. This is my community report from Opolojo Guinea, and something urgently needs to be done. You can see that. Does this look like people's children? It's unfortunate. Please, if you want to support this community, if you want to support these children to have a future tomorrow, please speak to me, talk to me, call me on 07054 390 We need to encourage these two teachers. They have been on their foot. Today, the teacher is coming all the way from Owawala to come and teach this pupil, and he will need to go back. Tell me, uh, if he is not, look at, look at his, come, come on, look at his rickety uh, motorbike, uh, motorbike that he comes with. Look at it. There are two. And then that is, the, that is the second one. I think they deserve an encouragement. Please, if you are touched, encourage them. Look at it. And this is what he travel. They travel with every day to come into down, uh, coming down to this place to come and teach these children. So it's unfortunate that we still found ourselves in this modern age and time, and we call ourselves the giant of Africa. If we don't do something now, 